Blake Trinan is heading for x-rays. He's heading for a CT scan after taking a screaming line drive off the torso, the midsection, whatever you want to call it. Today, we're looking at the potential Trinan injury and breaking down how a significant injury could affect the Dodgers bullpen plan. Plus, let's look at a little bit of the latest on the Blake Snell free agency saga. And I have a little bit of praise. I have a fair amount of praise for Max Muncie on a weekend edition of the All Dodgers podcast. First, quickly, I am Clint Pasillas. as you guys can see it right there. I go by Real FRG on Twitter, on Instagram. I'm a longtime baseball writer, sports analyst, sports editor, and I cover the Dodgers here on my YouTube channel, All Dodgers. So if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel, that really helps things out. It's something that is completely free. It costs you nothing to subscribe to the channel. Giving this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it at the end of it is also something that is completely free to you. But let's talk about the big news of the day, Blake Trinan. So the Dodgers could be, maybe, could be without Blake Trinan for a bit after he took a nasty line drive to the right side. We see it here, uh, right side of that mid-region of his torso, basically off of the right ribs there. As of the time that I'm recording this, which is a little bit before 4.30 p.m. Pacific on Saturday, the Dodgers are officially calling it, officially terming it, rib contusion but the fact that he's already gone for x-rays and they didn't give the you know they didn't put out any sort of update on the x-rays and they added that he's going for a ct scan that's a red flag to me knowing this dot knowing this dodgers team knowing how they communicate that is a massive red flag for me or at least the way the news was broken we see the tweet here uh, one of the guys who had it was fabian ardaya the x-rays Seem to have already happened. Again, to me, the, the CT scan and the will no more tomorrow screams something could be fractured or broken. So how would Trinan missing a few weeks of the regular season affect the Dodgers bullpen plan? So we know for sure Trinan was going to be on that opening day bullpen, in that opening day bullpen alongside guys like Evan Phillips, obviously, Bruce Dark Gratterall, uh, Joe Kelly, Ryan Brazier was going to be in there, uh, Alex Vestia and... Ryan Yarbrough were all locks to be in that bullpen. J.P. Fireisen was somebody is somebody that's still likely going to be in that bullpen. Now the door is wide open or could be wide open for someone like Michael Grove to find a way into that opening day bullpen. It is worth noting, technically, at the moment, Grove is competing for that fifth starter job alongside Gavin Stone, those are the two guys, the primary guys that are competing for that role. Um, I guess a side note, uh, side news, side note news, use all of the words, why not? Uh, as of, or, or this morning, Dave Roberts did confirm the obvious that Emmett Sheehan will open the season on the injured list. He was the original fifth starter, like most likely fifth starter as we were entering uh, spring training. So that eliminates him from that fifth starter conversation, at least to open the season. Grover had his best outing at the right time. Uh, uh, the best, His best outing of the spring Saturday tossed three and a third scoreless innings. He allowed uh, just one hit and a walk and six strikeouts against the world champion Texas Rangers. But it's also, I guess we'll say worth noting, the Rangers didn't quite have their full A squad out there. And for another what it's worth, even after the good outing, Stoner's ERA is still, sorry, not Grover's ERA uh, this spring is still pushing almost seven. So, it's I guess it's more about what have you done for us lately. We know how the how these Dodgers can operate, and I mean we saw it with Alex Vesia last year. Didn't always have the prettiest of ERAs, but he can have his stretches of dominance. Same can happen with Michael Grove. Uh, but if it's not Grove, I would look at veteran left-handers uh, Justin Wilson, T.J. McFarland. Both are in camps uh, in camp on minor league deals. They're non-roster invitees. Both of those guys, or either of those guys, could get an extended look in the regular season uh, while or if Trinan is sidelined. By the way, little shout out, TJ McFarlane has had a hell of a spring so far. He was one of the guys I had mentioned in my uh, non-roster invitees to watch video uh, a few weeks back. Check it out on the channel if you want to see if I'm right or wrong. Um, 
He has appeared in parts of 11 different major league seasons. He's tossed six scoreless innings so far this spring. Wilson, Justin Wilson, has the better track record as a uh, as you know uh, in terms of major league success uh, or success at the major league level. I'll say it that way. But right now, McFarland is kind of earning it in spring. So you hope, uh, uh, you know, ideally, the hope is all of this conversation is moot. Blake Trinan avoids major injury, but looking at that footage, reading the tea leaves, reading between the the lines and reading the words that the Dodgers aren't saying, which they often do, I'm pretty sure he'll be down for a few weeks with a rib fracture. I'm calling it now. Still, not even 4.30 p.m. Pacific right now on, on Saturday. I'm putting it out there into the world right now. I'm assuming it's going to end up being a rib fracture uh, if maybe hairline, but for Blake Trinan. In other news, as the Dodgers play just four more Cactus League games for getting on a long ass flight to Korea next week, the reigning NL Cy Young Award winner Blake Snell is still a free agent. He remains unsigned. Yes, there's nothing new linking. Snell to the Dodgers here. I just wanted to talk about Snell. I want to talk about other baseball and MLB type things. Um, a report from ESPN's Buster Olney revealed this week that he's pressing the Angels to sign him. Uh, the quote is, strong preference is to go to the Angels, according to Buster. Uh, of course, some still would love to see the Dodgers put their hat in there. They would still love to see him sign with the Dodgers. Uh, despite him being an obvious boost to the rotation, we had the video two weeks back where we're talking about Snell and kind of realized, oh man, this dude would be a, like a huge boost to the Dodgers. The reality is it's a pipe dream. It's not going to happen. The Dodgers are not going to sign Blake Snell unless something drastically changes. They lose one more starter. Then maybe the conversation quickly shifts, but I think they would more likely go the Jordan Montgomery route, even though I guess now he's, he's targeting a seven year deal or something like that. Why you're still looking or how you're still looking um, for seven years at this point in spring, uh, you know, that's bold. Uh, good on you, my dude, but pipe dream for the Dodgers in this situation. Uh, Blake Snell, if he's going to LA, it's going to be Anaheim. One last thing, a positive thing, before we wrap up a Saturday edition of the show here. I wanted to shine a light on Mad Max Muncy. My guy, Max Muncy. He's been kind of quietly exceptional this spring, he's hitting 357 after his latest game. He's got an OPS over 1300, despite being hit on the hand, the back, the the kneecap by pitches this spring. Uh, he's also played himself a pretty nice game on defense, making most of the plays in front of him. He's making a few plays that he probably would have botched or missed last year. It's not the sexiest defense. You're not going to get the sexiest defense out of Max Muncy. He's never going to be. Adrian Beltre on defense. He's just got to play a quality enough defense. He's got to play a serviceable defense. He's got to play league average defense, and the Dodgers will be fine. Uh, right now, he's not raising any red flags with the glove or the arm, and I, I don't know if that's been masked by the whole Gavin Lux saga scenario, which I'm still... They got words. I'll talk about those words on Monday's live stream, 7 p.m. Pacific. Tune in. But uh, anyways, again, just wanted to give some props to Max. I've I wouldn't say I've crapped on Max a lot over the years, but I've had some uh, particularly last year. I've had I had some opinions on Max Muncy as a defender at third base. But right now, just keep doing what you're doing, my guy. But that is it. That is uh, it for this Saturday edition of the All Dodgers podcast. Let me know what you guys think about this Blake Trinan situation. Did it look bad? Am I just being a negative Nancy about the potential for that fr uh, fr uh, injured rib, the rib fracture? And if he is down, who do you think ends up getting that final spot in the Dodgers bullpen? Thank you for watching the video. I ho hope again I earned a thumbs up by the end of it. Subscribing to the channel 
channel is also another way to show that you like what I'm doing here, or at least a little bit. Um, all of those uh, things that are things that help out the channel. Another way you can help support is if you want to go check out uh, patreon.com slash real FRG. It's a cool way you could also support the channel. But for now, signing off, I am Clint Pasillas. Check me out as real FRG on Twitter, on Instagram. Uh, I'll be out at spring training later this uh, coming week. So if you see me, say hi, because why not? But anyways, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.